Hello everybody and welcome back to the Isle of Wight. I hope you're well, I hope you've had a good week and are getting ready for the weekend. Last time we worked on episode 9 which was the beautiful stately home episode and boy was it a fun build to do. I really did enjoy this. There was a lot of creativity involved in this and I had to really up my game to make the beautiful building by Matt Welshman come alive. And I must admit as well, I really enjoyed doing the little pond as well because it's been a little while since I'd done one and it actually turned out pretty good in my opinion. So thanks for that. And also a big thank you shout out to Jack as well who um, correctly mentioned that the shed as you just saw there off camera is round the wrong way. So Jack, I have turned that around. We are now able to get into that shed. So <laughs> thank you for your comment last week. And thank you in general for your comments as of late. They have been really good. I do read every single one and reply to as many as I can. And um, yes, Kei Chung, Monaco will be back hopefully tomorrow. So keep tuned for that. But let's move on and talk about this episode. This episode is going to be a guest builder episode. So this is an episode where I don't have to do any building for it. Um, we have been lucky enough to have a guest to build for us. Lots of people were guessing many, many names from Corrales to Strict Toaster to Taser. Everyone, everyone. And there were some correct ones. Congratulations to those who decided that it was going to be Rick 4000. And yes, it is indeed Rick 4000. And I'm sure you already know who Rick 4000 is. Not only is he a creator, an asset creator on the workshop, creating some beautiful UK assets, but he also has enough time on his hands to create these beautiful builds as well. He's working on a series called Screenshot Veal. On the screen you can see his workmanship and boy, you thought his assets were amazing. His creations in general as a series are also phenomenal. So if you like my stuff, you're definitely going to enjoy watching and catch up with the series of Screenshot Veal. There'll be a link in the description below outlining the YouTube series channel and also Rick 4000's workshop to check out his assets and creations. So how did it all start? Well, I've been speaking to Rick for quite some time now and I really wanted to have a way of showing off some work on the island. It's a big island, there's a lot of different areas and a lot of it is village based and in my opinion, Rick creates some absolutely outstanding villages. And I wanted to have some of that inspiration in the Isle of Wight as well and also to learn from Rick as well. We all learn from each other so it was a great opportunity for that. The actual location is very close to where we built the last episode and here on screen you can see how the progress went along. We're going to go into this in a lot more detail after but I wanted to show you the sort of build and the quality of it and how it lays into the map itself. As I said the Isle of Wight is very rural based and this is pretty much a very generic looking village area that you'll see quite often on the island so it gives you an idea of how it looks. You can see there the stately home in the background just above the tree line. So I thought what we'd do for this episode is we'll do a bit of live play looking around what Rick has built for us. Obviously the frames aren't the best because there's a lot of detail here and I've got the graphics up full to really show off the quality of the models that Rick makes and also the build itself. So let's start off with this first little village building here. The detail level of Rick's work is absolutely amazing. I, I do, that's one thing I really have picked up on. I thought I detailed my gardens well but boy Rick goes to an absolute another level here but it is something I want to add into my creativity and gameplay as well so it's good to see these detailed gardens. So let's move down a little bit more we've got these a bit more generic and common looking buildings it's more, more semi-detached than cottage based and I mean just look at it here the the detail on the ground for starters the decal arrangements and that just works so well it's such a unique look it's very very common if you are from the UK looking around here really will bring up some memories of locations you may have passed around and looked into and seen it really does look like a painting to me it just shouts out the UK to start with but also it fits so well with the uh, the Isle of Wight feeling and theme it's um, a very relaxed look not too much going on it's just a very you know a typical village location in my opinion and I really do love the variety of different grasses that Rick's used along here it works really well and it's something I've sort of struggled with previously is trying to find grass that works I found some that work but there's some grass here that I now have in my collection which I didn't before that Rick uses to 
a great advantage and I'm going to really try and use those as well to see how it goes for myself. So moving down the road slightly we come to this much grander looking building. So this one it kind of makes me feel that it was a smaller building or perhaps it could have been two buildings at one point and they've kind of converted them all together. It's hard to tell. It looks much more of a bigger building, maybe a four bedroom house and much larger garden so it gives you that sort of thought and feeling that this is a big family home it's got the trampoline in the garden the washing line up and it's these little things that really tell a story and this is what i was trying to get at earlier in the uh, commentary where when you watch someone else's videos you do try and sort of think how they're thinking when they're placing this down like what are they trying to show off here what's their thoughts and feelings behind this particular house arrangement why have they done this and it kind of gives you a little story to paint yourself and that's what I really like about watching these other videos it's really fascinating to to do that and also take away some inspiration from yourself of ideas that someone else has put down that works for you and sort of adapting on it so that's really really good and what I like here as well is there's a lot of different variety of buildings so we've got the quite fancy house next door to what looks more like a junkyard <laughs> <laughs> um, obviously a bit more of a farmer based house here um, we've got the trailers, we've got the tractors there, we've got the typical UK Jeep um, and a little caravan parked in the corner as well so this looks a lot more like a working home or maybe it's a workhouse, it's, it's hard to tell really um, without knocking on the door and seeing who's inside but uh, Obviously a lot more run down, very different to that of the house next to it. Um, and again, it paints another story and that's what I do really enjoy. And talking about different houses, now if we move across here, we have another very different looking building. The building itself is beautiful and the way that the drive just bends around this corner is very unique. I really like the idea. It's not a house that I've seen like this before but I can very much imagine it being like that. It's a lot more of a little corner house here and it makes you wonder who owns all the rest of that land. Um, but the building itself, look at this, it's so nice and the level of attention to detail here, we've got this little um, tray of flowers there, um, it really is something and you can see the grass looks like it's raised up as well here. Um, on a bank, we've got the wall around it, little goal post there in the corner. Again, the detail level, fantastic. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's quite hard actually reviewing this because I, I'm running out of positive words to say because it is just a sensational build and I'm so grateful that Rick was able to do this for us and uh, thanks to the Move It export and restore features, this has become a very easy and simple um, job to do which was one thing I was concerned about at first but it works really well and even <laughs> Rick and I were saying the other day how how good it's worked we couldn't believe it to be honest um, so that's good and also the fact that I have been able to get someone else to load the game successfully also means that there could be a release on the Steam Workshop in the end of a safe game so this, this could potentially be something that you guys can then take away and play for yourself and uh, and build upon it how you wish. I'm still working on the release of the map as well. I know a few of you have been asking for the map to start your own island build, so I'm gonna try and work on that and definitely get something out to you before um, Christmas hits. Now, I know we've just gone past the building that I'm about to talk about, but what I like about these buildings by Rick as well is a lot of buildings in the UK tend to get extended and you do tend to get different types of brickwork and walls and coloured sort of exteriors that you know personally that there's been an extension done and it's quite common to see so it's nice to see some assets also take on board that whole approach because a lot of people do prefer to extend their house than sell it and then buy somewhere else especially how bad it is when you're buying a house in the UK. But here this little bungalow, I really like this with this little sort of overhanging porch area. And the bricks in the back garden with the skip makes you think are they planning to build something here or are they going to try and extend their porch? You know again it's led me to some questions and uh, I really like that. But we are coming quite close now to the end of this build and uh, 
Moving down the road slightly, we've got another sort of farmer base building here. So this is a smaller house. You've got a big shed on either side, tractors around, and then you've got a nice little garden in the background as well. So obviously a family home stroke farmer field. And it makes you think, is the field behind here for this farmer? It's, um, yeah, again, really, really nicely put together. Great details and uh, like I said, the props in the gardens are really good. They, they work really well for this area and it's um, something I'm looking forward to doing myself. And with that in mind, it did make me think about perhaps offering out a guest build a bit more regular. Firstly, what do you guys think about the whole guest build? Has this been an interesting episode for you? Would you like to see someone else build upon the Isle of Wight? I'm wondering whether we could do some sort of a competition on building a village in a certain area and using the move it um, import and export feature we could then import these in and sort of see who has the best village um, as a more of a viewer based scenario so let me know your thoughts on that we could always make it into a little competition to see um, whose is the best village and that one will stay in the game and we can do a little competition for that let me know in the comment section below i think that'd be quite a fun thing to do um, with regards to uh, you know adding something different to this series but with that said i'm probably going to spend another few hours looking around <laughs> the um the bilbo rick because i keep looking and i keep finding new things i haven't seen yet and uh yeah, it really does make me smile looking at this. It's really, really good. So a big, big shout out to Rick4000 to, to being involved in this build. Huge thank you for your time and efforts in that. I've really enjoyed looking through this and adding it into the Isle of Wight series. And um, yeah, like I said, if you want to see the full time lapse, you can do. You can watch the full time lapse of how Rick created this on his channel. So check out the link in the description below. Other than that guys, thank you all very much for your time, enjoy these final cinematics and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching and all the best.